So let's talk now about strategy, right? And there are really three core components of our strategy, which you see right there, right? Mail, media, and match. And so mail refers to email, which is going to be the primary audience asset that you're building, okay? And media is the mindset that we all need to have to succeed in marketing today. And match, very simply, is about matching your content to your business objectives. And so, you know, kind of the dirty little secret about these is that none of them are very complicated and none of them are new, right? So email, you know, despite constant reports of its demise, has never been more powerful, has never been more relevant. And we're going to really dive deep into email here in a second. And when it comes to media, a media approach to marketing is really only new in the context of the Internet because the Internet is relatively new, right? But a media approach to marketing has been working since before Don Draper was a madman and long before that, right? Working so long as the content matches the business objectives, right? Which is all about taking viewers, taking them on that journey all the way to where they become buyers and hopefully repeat buyers after that. So again, mail, media, and match. And so let's kind of start out our talk with strategy by diving deep into email. Well, I started out publishing content by email back in the dark ages but what I didn't understand was how to make money from that at the time. Um, nowadays, I find that you have people who aren't good, smart business people, and yet this whole concept of building an audience, specifically in the importance of email in that equation, that's the hard part. So for me, this has come full circle. But I love this graphic that we, ha we show you up here um, that kind of represents, in, in a simple way, but it, it's pretty fairly on target, uh, what your audience looks like. And it's uh, built out of these concentric circles meant to represent that your, your most distant and coldest relationship with this aspect of your audience is in the outer rings and it becomes warmer uh, and more trusting with people having more belief in you as a, as a content mentor, if you will, but also in your uh, products and services, your solutions that you offer them. So the problem that we've seen with the mainstreaming of social media is that everyone's out there on the outer rim trying to pitch the product directly. I mean, you guys have seen this, right? You know, it's annoying when people try to do it to you, and yet sometimes we find that we're given marching orders to, to go out and build up our Facebook likes so we can increase revenue. Well, that's pretty rare. Uh, <laughs> rare situation. So your social network followers are definitely part of your audience. I mean, that's where things originate. That's where your content spreads. It's invaluable, but you're not quite ready to sell them something yet. As long as you realize that this is your audience, but not all audience members are created equally, uh, then you're on the right path in focusing on building your email asset. So I want to talk a little bit about how this actually works in practice and how we put this to use for us at Copyblogger. Because as I'm kind of transitioning now from Director of Content to VP of Marketing, one thing has been made extremely clear to me by Brian, and that is don't screw up the well-oiled email machine, right? Don't mess it up because it's working. And I think there's really three key factors for why email has worked so well for Copyblogger. Number one being Brian's recognition early on about the long-term value of email, which has allowed that list, that asset, to have so much time to build, right? And, so, and you can see why that's so important. So I'm not going to belabor that point, except to say that the best time to start really focusing on email and building your list was eight, nine, ten years ago. And the next best time is now. So for anybody who's not focusing on email, who doesn't believe in it or thinks it's done, if you take one thing from this presentation, let it be that, that email is really a place to focus. The other two factors that have, have really helped us succeed with email, I think, are a commitment to delivering free and useful, consistent value before and after people give us their email addresses, and then also having a strategic promotional calendar that brings all the different lists together and helps them fulfill business objectives. Okay, so I want to kind of take you through how that process works. So when it comes to free value, right, for us it all starts at the blog, at copyblogger.com, where it's always been. And that's the place where three, four, five days a week we're putting out a brand new piece of content. It's an expert piece of content, it's been edited well, it's useful. And that content is designed to bring people to copyblogger.com for the first time, the fifth time, the hundredth time. And hopefully one of those times 
people take a step further in those circles of belief, right? They give us their email address and sign up, okay? And the way that works is these articles are social objects, right? They're filtering out there online, they're being tweeted, they're being shared, they're being linked to, and that's getting people into those outermost circles of belief. And then systematically over time, you're working to bring them, bring them in, bring them in more and more, right? And so, and we're not shy about this on the blog. There's a conspicuous uh, widget right at the top of the sidebar for people to opt in and a bold, clear call to action at the bottom. We want you on the email list. And I'll address this because people always ask me, do we use pop-ups? No, we don't use pop-ups because we don't really like them from a user perspective. And so we don't want to subject our audience to that. And we'd rather you give us your email address because you appreciate the value you're getting and want more rather than because we just twisted your arm and made you say uncle before you got the free content. Right. <laughs>